back to another video. As always, my name's Jasper, and what we're going to be covering today is how to use GPT Builder to interact with custom APIs. We'll be connecting uh, the CoinGecko API, the public version, so we don't need any authentication. We'll just be able to talk directly with the API. Um, if you don't know how to use ChatGPT, um, Builder, sorry, I advise you probably go look at one of my earlier videos just explaining the basic concepts and how to use it, as this one is going to be purely around actions and integrating the API. It will be a pretty quick video. So let's dive straight in. As you can see here, I have an, uh, a blank ChatGPT um, Builder open, so there's nothing configured yet. So let's just first give it a name. So let's say Coin Gecko Price Finder. It goes, gets price of coin from coin gecko. See, nice and simple. So we won't have any instructions let yet. We'll just leave that alone. Now you're going to see over here that I have the coin gecko documentation. Um, we will go through that soon. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come down and set actions, and you'll see create new action. So let's click that, and then we're going to come across to ChatGPT. So actually now we'll go through this first. So if we go to the examples, we can go weather. And what you're gonna see here is the JSON markup for all these different API calls. Um, it gives it a description, how to use it and how to use the call. And this way ChatGPT can actually communicate with the API. Now obviously this is gonna be a lot um, hard for people that don't know how to actually read this or use this. So um, this will be a way of how to do it without knowing how to code. Um, so, and then here you have authentication. So authentication is used in case you've got an API key or need to use OAuth. Um, in our case, we've got no authentication needed, so we just have none. Um, here you can add things like API keys and um, custom headers if needed, but we don't need any of that today. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back across. So in this case, we're gonna wanna make one for CoinGecko. So let's copy the URL here. We're going to come into ChatGPT. I'm using ChatGPT4. I advise you do too. It is a lot easier to use. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to ask it to create this format for us. So we're going to go, please create the uh, schema for a custom GPT action. It will be to get the price from Coin Gecko. Uh, sorry, Gecko API. Then we're going to go here is the the um, API. Sorry, the API documentation. All right, put that in. Nice and easy. Then we're going to say um, we're going to tell them how it actually looks. So we will get the example here. So this is the, I guess you would say, schema template. So it's how it looks. And we want to tell um, ChatGPT exactly how to format our API. We're going to say here is an example of the JSON format and how to set it up. So we go like that. Then we're going to put these little dots here just so they know, um, so ChatGPT knows I'm giving a new instruction. Then we're going to say, please create the schema for coin gecko api now let's see what it does scroll down there you go so as you can see it's getting it all for us uh, it's connecting the apis and putting all the schema details so we don't have to Now you'll be able to do this with any API, so all you've got to do is find the documentation, which should be online if it's an open API, and then uh, you can just tell ChatGPT, um, give the uh, sorry the API documentation to ChatGPT, and then ask it to set it up like this, um, and then it'll be able to set it up all for you, so you don't even know how to so you don't even have to code. So let's go out of this. We we'll say OK, come back to create new action, and we'll just paste that in, and then there you go. So it's got it right there, sample price. So let's go test. So it's testing it out for us. We're gonna say allow. So that's allowing it to talk to the API. Amazing, so there you go. And it's got the up-to-date price. So let's jump back then. So we'll be able to come out of here. Um, there we go. And then we'll just give it some brief instructions, really basic. So let's say, answer questions related 
to cryptocurrencies using the coin gecko api from your actions folder um, let's just say actions there we go so that's up to date <clears throat> and then we'll add some let's say basic uh, starters so what is the price of bitcoin and what is the price of ethereum there we go uh, let's give that a go hit that off it goes let's go allow just one more time and there you have it so it's got the most up-to-date price in usd um, so now you'd be able to technically go save, uh, launch it to the public. You could do this with any API. All you've got to do is just get um, ChatGPT to do the schema for you, add it in there, add some instructions of what it should do with the API, and you've got yourself a custom G, uh, GPT that can talk to live data through APIs. Thanks for watching. As I said, it was going to be a quick um, video. I hope you all learned something and look forward to seeing you in the next video.